Hello, I'm Mark Shashua. I'm the CEO of i 2 i Events Group, and I'm delighted to welcome you to one in a series of videos that we have developed in partnership with the UK Trade and Investment. Our aim is to provide insight and guidance to help you get the most value when you exhibit at one of our shows. And this video is focused on how you spend your time most effectively. I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Matt Crabtree, who has some tips on how to find the right people at one of our events who are able to help you grow your business internationally. Whether you're new to visiting a major exhibition or you've done it hundreds of times, one of the greatest challenges is to be as productive as possible. There are literally hundreds of exhibitors, all of whom are going to want to talk to you. But it's physically impossible for you to go and see everyone. And the truth is, they're not all going to be relevant. So how do you make sure you get that absolute maximum out of each day? How do you prioritise and ensure that you identify, find and engage with the most relevant exhibitors? Number one. Plan the show day. You'll already have a good idea what you want to achieve from the day, whether that's to browse, learn, or find new products or ideas. But how are you going to make sure you can fit everything in? Well, one great way to start is by logging onto the show's website, as well as social media and any online forums. There may be an online tool that enables you to book meetings directly with exhibitors in advance. Downloading the show's app will mean you have all the data on your smartphone or tablet so you can check out the conference layout, the seminars, list of speakers and of course a full list of exhibitors. After making a short list of exhibitors you want to visit, including UKTI's stand of course, take the floor plan and map your most optimal route. Exhibition halls can be enormous, so planning the shortest route can save you both time and energy. Remember not to simply focus on the large shiny stands in the middle of the hall as there will be a number of gems at the smaller stands at the edges of the room too. Think about the amount of time that you will need on each stand. Depending on the objective, this may just be a few minutes or in some cases considerably longer. You should check out who's going to the show and send them a message beforehand so that you're sure to meet up. There's nothing worse than blindly hoping to bump into somebody and not connecting because they were there the day before you. Number two, make the first hour count. When you arrive at the show, it can feel a little overwhelming. Crowds, noise, lots of exhibitors and stands. And it's easy to spend the first hour wandering around, looking at everything, but not really achieving very much. Earlier in the day, you'll have more energy, so make that first hour count and get around to as many of the exhibitors from your shortlist as you can. Once you've had a productive first hour, then reward yourself with a cup of coffee or maybe even a piece of cake. Number three, write notes and follow-up actions. If you have lots and lots of conversations during a day, which we hope and expect you will, it would take somebody with a remarkable memory to retain that information once the day's over. Make sure you have some way to record all the contact details, product specifications, and any other information that's important. Now, this could be with a notepad and a pen, or if you're more tech savvy, use a tablet device or a smartphone. However you decide to make a record of the information, just make sure that you're absolutely methodical about capturing it. I promise you that if you do this, you'll thank yourself afterwards. Number four, pace yourself. Pacing yourself physically is so important so that you can sustain your energy levels right up until the end. You don't know whether the final conversation of the day is the one that will ultimately prove most useful. This might sound really obvious, but keeping hydrated can make a huge difference. And if you feel a wave of tiredness coming over you, take a 15 minute breather, zone out, and then carry on with your schedule. Also, you have limited time at the event, so you want to make sure you get straight to the point about the information you're looking for, be that product specifications, lead times, commercial terms, or even manufacturing timescales. Avoid too much small talk, as this will take time and energy. Number five, learn from the experts. Events are a fantastic place to learn from others, not just from those exhibiting and other visitors, but also from the seminars, workshops, or conference sessions put on by the show organiser. You can also take advantage of a visit to the UK TI stand, where there are experts waiting to talk to you and answer any question you may have about how to internationalise your business through exporting. They will be only too happy to help. Number six, following up proactively. If you think the show's been busy for you, spare a thought for the exhibitors, who have all no doubt spoken to thousands of new contacts. 
it's easy for them to get focused on all of their own other activities rather than following up on your request. So make sure you're proactive about calling or emailing them to set up a meeting or to get the information you are looking for. And while you're reviewing your notes, check to see who you didn't manage to get to speak with and contact them for a meeting so you achieve all the things you set out to. You never know if one of those you didn't see at the show turns out, in fact, to be one of the best contacts. In summary, make sure you plan for the show. Get started early and make that first hour count. Write lots of notes and detailed follow-up actions. Pace yourself throughout the day. Take advantage of the opportunity to learn from the experts, including, of course, UKTI, and be proactive about your follow-up. I hope you have a really, really successful show.